and welcome to the video guys hope you're having a great day so previously we did logistic regression with binary class now today we're going to do it with multi-class classification let's go ahead and see that previously we've seen the difference between linear regression and logistic regression just for recap binary classification is when this true there's only two outputs that's one zero true false yes or no and in multi-class there are multiple that small medium large excel in the size shirts so I'm going to go ahead and we're basically going to see that uh, the coding that's going to be done over Python to train this model as well. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, now that we're on the coding, let's go ahead and check. So what we did first, we obviously import important libraries. So we are imported matplotlib. For the graph now I basically load the data set now SQL learn data dot data sets have these pre-built data sets so today basically our objective is to have the machine determine handwritten digits all right so I'm basically going to show you from where we taken this data set and it's taken from this scikit learn and as you can see this is the digit data set and the images look like this the handwritten images look like this and they are on 1797 8 by 8 images all right so this is being fed to the system and we load that. So I want to see what is the digits actually look like as in what's into them. What, what does it contain? Let's go ahead and check that out. So here it shows me that these are there that data images target target names are in it. So now basically I want to see the images as in like if I ask an image, how does it look? So I'm going to have like using macro, I'm going to use plt.gray and plt.match show digits dot images number four. In the index, I've given four because I want to check what's going to be four. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, wonderful. Four looks like that basically. So now I'm going to see if the target is actually printing out four when I check it out. As in, like we saw the image four, so I'm going to have the target basically do four. Let me just comment this above out. Yeah, and the target as well shows four out here. So now basically we're going to split the data as in a train test split. So from SQL and model selection, I've used the train test split method. And this is the in, in the syntax at X train, X test, Y train, Y test, and there's digits dot data, digits dot target. And I've added the test size as 20%. Now the X train basically, it contains handwritten images and uh, basically the Y train contains the corresponding output. All right, now I'm going to check the length of it as in like how much is being put into the te X test and how much is being put into the X screen. Let's go ahead and check that out. And as we can see, that's 360 is put in X train and 1437 is put in X train, X train actually. So let's go ahead and check this out if this is actually correct because in our data set, as we've seen, there was 1797 images so I'm just going to minus 360 from it and I'm going to check if it's coming accurately and yet we got 1437 that's correct for the X train now we're going to train a model I've had from sqlearn.linear model I put imported logistic regression I created the regressor object over here and I this is where the training happens regressor.fit X train Y train here's where the training happens of the model now I want to see the evaluation. I want to see how good is my model. All right, so I'm checking out the accuracy score. That's with X test, Y test. And okay, it shows 0.96. That's around 96%. It's really good. Now I want to see the overall, check the entire model that I made with random samples. So I'm basically going to add randomly. In an index, I've added number 52, basically plt.matshow digits dot images in the index I put 52 let's see how does that look okay so 52 is looking like this all right this is what it's showing 52 so it's sort of like difficult for me to as well recognize it so I'm going to see the target of it with 52 being the index what is it showing actually so when I'm printing digits dot target with index 52 this gives me 7, alright? I'll show it shows that it looks like a 7. So it does sort of like look like a 7. I'm not exactly sure, but it's supposed to get 52. 
So now I'm going to basically have the model predict 52 and tell me what is it, all right? Because the image is basically binary and the model preserve, it basically prefers numerical values. So we're going to go with data. In the index, we're going to add 52. Let's see what does it show us. Okay, this is showing us 7 as well. All right, so now I'm going to check that, okay, just for a rough idea, I want to see that, okay, what does it come with? I'm predicting from 0 to 5. All right, I'm going to have the model predict from 0 to 5, the data digits. All right, so let's check that out. Okay, it shows 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's absolutely correct. The, the index is to 5. That shows correct. So now I'm basically going to double check this model accuracy to see where it lacks, all right? As in, like, where is the... the an error where is the problem coming from so for this first thing I'm basically rating this y prediction I've added this variable y pred and that I've added the prediction values with x test right now just to visualize and see how the model is I'm from sql1.matrix I'm going to import the confusion matrix all right I want to see how well this model does all right as in how well it is so I've added the CM equals to confusion matrix, Y test, Y prediction. Basically, this is actual and prediction values. All right. So we're going to predict the C confusion matrix and see how does that look like. OK, so the confusion matrix basically looks like this. And it's sort of a bit difficult for me to understand exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to visualize this with C1 as well to see how well it shows as in like what exactly it shows. So let's go ahead and see that as in this is like an easier way for us to understand as in why, where's the problem coming out from. All right. As of true, we can see this four. So I'm supposing there's going to be an error out here where four is. So from I imported C1 as SNS, I've added the PLT figure, the figure size. I put a heat map as well. X predict X label as predicted. And sorry, I put this as by label, I suppose. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, so this is basically the heat map that has come up and shows us over here that 40 times the actual value was zero and three times the actual value was eight, but the machine predicted that it would be one. All right, so this is where the problem occurred. And uh, this is how you basically see if the model more accurately, you double check, you see where it lacks as well. So guys, this was the example, the project, the code that was written for multi-class classification using for logistic regression. And if you guys have any comments, any opinions, any feedback, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to respond back to them as well. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for your time.